Hey guys, Jason Scudelari from CPP, and today we're gonna to be talking about fuel regulators. We have an all new fuel regulator. It's very compact. It will control a carburetor or fuel injection, comes with two different brackets and some fittings. Let's get started. So it comes with two different brackets. They screw on the top here. This is made for a top mount, which would go something like this. Drill and tap. Here's one we're gonna use. This is for a side mount. I've already drilled and tapped it, so let me go ahead and install it now. Back out these screws. All right, the screws out, I'm gonna add a little Loctite to them. We'll go ahead and install the bracket. One of the nice things about this bracket is a lot of the regulators out there are big, much bigger than this, and then the bracket's usually hidden, so you have to put the bracket on first, then you can put your regulator on. This one, you can bolt it straight to the regulator and you can still get access to the holes. So we'll go ahead and install it. And this is just simulating a frame rail. Okay. There, okay, with it installed, we'll go ahead and put our fittings on, put a little bit of oil on the O-ring. The bottom is your return. Doesn't matter which side you use for your inlet and outlet. But well, we're gonna use this for a pickup out of the fuel tank. This will be our feed to our uh, fuel rail. We're running fuel injection. This one regulator will do both fuel injection and a carburetor. And again, the size of it really makes it nice, especially on a car that's very compact and, and you're fighting to fit things. This works out really well. All right, with that all installed, we'll go ahead and make some lines up real quick. We're gonna go ahead and use our push lock fittings and hose. You can buy everything here at CPP. He's going really nice. So we're gonna come straight out of our regulator here. This is gonna go to our fuel rail. And I'm mounting this as close to the gas tank as possible because I only wanna run one line from here all the way down the frame rail up to the engine. This will dump right back into the tank so you don't have to run a return all the way back. And this one's gonna to go to the tank also. Pick up, return. That's our return. That will dump fuel back into the tank that's not being used. This will pick up fuel out of the tank and supply it to the engine. All right, we'll go ahead and tighten these up. Okay, and we'll go ahead and clean those up real quick. That in there, what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and install a gauge in here, which we also carry. So it's an optional gauge you can purchase from us. Pull out the MPT plug. I put a little thread sealant onto the threads. We'll go ahead and screw our gauge in there. All right, there we go. Last step is to set the regulator. Now that your gauge is in there, you're gonna have to add a little bit of pressure. So on a carburetor, you're gonna be running anywhere from four to six pounds. I like to set EFI at about 58 pounds. So back off the locking nut, and as you screw in, your pressures will come up. This is with the car running, obviously, and I would set that at 58 since we're running fuel injection. Then you lock your locking nut back down. I'm gonna plug up our vacuum port here because we're naturally aspirated. We don't need that if you run any kind of boost. Put a vacuum line on there, run it up to the engine. That way you never have any fuel drop. All right, now that we got our uh, fuel pressure where we want it, I'm gonna actually pull the gauge back out, put the plug back in there. That way you got all this room, pull that off. You'll probably have a little seepage of fuel. Put your plug back in there, put some sealant on that also before installing it, lock it down. You should be good to go. So I got our new fuel regulator that uh, I'm gonna test and show you guys exactly how it operates. It's on our uh, Nova now, which is equipped with EFI. So it should be around 58 to 60 PSI. Um, it's got a regulator in the rear, but that's okay. I just wanna show you how much you can adjust this regulator. Um, and this may be good for people who say you wanna update your gas tank because maybe you have a rusted out one um, and you wanna put an electric pump in there and maybe in the future you're gonna put a EFI system on there, but currently you have a carburetor. Well, we can adjust this fuel regulator all the way down to about one PSI. So I'm gonna start the car up. You're gonna hear the car hesit start hesitating once the pressure starts dropping, but I just wanna again show you what our regulator does. So let me start it up. So 
right now we're about 58 psi i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it down and there 40 30 20 10 5. back up so again the cfi does not like anything under probably to run properly, I don't know, I would say in the 58 range, but just goes to show you that you can use this for something for a carburetor up till you get that EFI system put in. All right, so when you're ready to get your classic truck or car parts, be sure to either visit classicperform.com or give us a call.